Seeing as we're all still stuck inside, we thought we'd put together a bit of bonus content for the week. It's a compilation of some of the scariest ghost sightings we've ever seen. So sit back, relax and enjoy. This creepy video was uploaded to Garment One's YouTube channel way back in July 2006. The footage, which was supposedly captured in a churchyard in the village of Eschelt, England, shows the very pale face of a young girl peering around the wall of the church. However, as the camera holder turns the corner to investigate, the mysterious girl has completely vanished. When this video first surfaced, it divided internet audiences. Some believed it to be genuine proof that there was indeed a ghost of a young girl haunting the churchyard. Others were more cautious, however, noting that the poor video quality might be hiding a cut in the footage, just before the camera holder turns the corner. Whether the video is genuine or a well-crafted hoax is still a topic of debate to this day. One thing is for certain, however, this video is sure to give you chills if you watch it all alone in the middle of the night. This bizarre video was uploaded to S. Koss's YouTube channel in December 2014. It appears to be an excerpt taken from a security camera captured in an unknown location. At first, several orb-like objects go speeding by the camera. And while these could easily be dismissed as insects, it's what the camera captures next that is truly strange. Several white figures begin running along the outside of the fence, Then suddenly, a few of the figures leap over the fence and land motionless on the ground. Some viewers have suggested that the strange shapes are actually deer. However, the way they land after jumping the fence seems to rule this theory out. They appear still and lifeless, almost as if they've deflated. Just when you think that the video couldn't get any weirder, a long trail of light appears at the top of the screen. This is truly one of the more bizarre videos we've ever seen. Could it be possible that the mysterious white figures are ghosts or some other type of supernatural entities? If anyone can shed any light on this video, I'd love to hear what you think in the comments section below. Family reunions are another great time to get pictures of the entire family posing happily together. Some old family photos show that even deceased relatives want to join in on the fun. This photo of a family reunion in New Zealand appears to have been taken sometime in the 1930s based on the style of the clothing. At first glance, it appears to be a typical photo of a family enjoying their day together. However, if you look closely at the middle of the back row, there appears to be a spirit posing along with the family. To make matters more intriguing, several members of the family who grew up in the house where the photo was taken claim to have seen this very spirit in the house, often standing over their beds when they were children. They described her as wearing a white dress with a bodice and dark brooch. Her hair is always tied up in a bun. Many members of the family believe that she's an ancestor keeping watch over the children as they sleep. This photo was supposedly taken at an unnamed nursing home just minutes after one of the residents had passed away. According to the story, several staff members and residents heard the door to one of the rooms opening and closing, and the room's call light also kept mysteriously turning on and off despite the fact that there was no one inside. Many believe that this photo shows the ghost of the resident and that it was them opening and closing the door. Others think that the dark, shadowy figure may actually be the Grim Reaper sent to collect the soul of the deceased. It's up to you to decide which story you believe, but either way, it certainly makes for a very unsettling photo. St Mary's Guildhall in Warwickshire, England is notorious for eerie happenings and ghost sightings. And when this photo surfaced in 1985, people were shocked to see hard evidence of the paranormal. This photo was taken during a meeting of the Coventry Freemen's Guild. The scary thing is, no one remembers the tall hooded figure that can be seen at the top left of the table. 
Over a dozen people that attended the meeting that day said they didn't see a robed monk during their opening prayer. Yet, very clearly, there's a ghostly presence at the head of the table. It's interesting to note that St Mary's Guildhall once held Mary, Queen of Scots prisoner, which many say is the reason the hall has such an ominous feeling about it. Within the enormous medieval complex is an area known as the Draper's Room. Visitors often report feelings of extreme sadness, anxiety and depression when they enter the room. Some have been known to burst into tears for no reason at all. Could this strange vintage ghost photo prove that this notorious guild hall is really haunted? In 2016, this video footage surfaced, reportedly shot at the school hospital Universitario in Honduras. It shows a ghost-like figure emerging from the door on the right-hand side of the corridor. The apparition seems to be aware of the camera person's presence, as it appears to look straight at them from the doorway. It then hesitates for a moment before walking right into the corridor. Naturally, the camera holder seems startled as they stumble backwards through a set of doors. After the video was released, rumours began circulating that it may actually be the ghost of a former doctor who had taken their own life. Many who work there believe that the doctor's ghost still haunts the hospital's hallways, with reports of lights mysteriously switching on and off in several of the patient's rooms. This is certainly a very striking clip, and if it's genuine, may well be some of the best ghost footage ever captured. On a sunny afternoon in the mid-1960s, the iconic Alberta steam train was gearing up for its last ever journey. Locals and journalists gathered round to see the grand old train leave the station one last time. And as they did, they took several photographs. One which would become famous for something a little more eerie than a retiring train. In the photo, you can see four men, including the driver, standing at the lead cart of the train. However, if you look in the right window, a face can be seen peering out. It looks to be an old lady wearing some kind of ornamental headdress. During its operation, many drivers said that the train was haunted. They claimed to have ploughed through strange misty figures on the tracks, only to find nothing there. Doors would open and close on their own, latches would lock and unlock, eerie whispers were heard down empty carriages. One driver even said the train itself would behave erratically when passing over a bridge known for suicides. The train would speed up and slow down on its own, once the brakes cut out momentarily right as the train passed over the notorious bridge. Could this photo then really have captured the spirit of a restless soul that once haunted the old Alberta steam train? YouTuber Prosperous uploaded this clip to the site way back in June 2006, and many believe it to be some of the strongest evidence of the existence of ghosts to date. The footage is said to have been captured by the Atlantic Paranormal Society while they were investigating the Eastern State Penitentiary in Pennsylvania, a prison often thought to be haunted. Although the clip is brief, it does appear to show some sort of hooded figure walking towards the camera. It then looks as though the figure notices that it's being filmed and quickly moves away. As the Eastern State Penitentiary is often reported to be a hotbed for supernatural activity, many paranormal researchers believe that the figure seen in this video is indeed a ghost, and some have even likened its appearance to the Grim Reaper. So what do you think? Does this creepy clip actually show proof of a ghost roaming this haunted prison? Or is there another explanation for the mysterious figure? Love to get your thoughts on this one in the comments section below. One of the best things about old family photos is that they capture important memories that can be cherished for generations to come. Such photos are wonderful ways to think about loved ones and remember the bond that you shared. In the case of Judy Herring, her family photo collection turned up something more hauntingly beautiful than she could ever have imagined. The photo is a portrait of her great-grandfather posing outdoors. However, a semi-translucent figure of a woman appears in front of him. Although the image is somewhat blurry, it's clear that the figure is an older woman with white hair, standing somewhat hunched over. According to Judy, the woman strongly resembles her great-grandmother who had already passed away. 
Some believe that this photo merely shows a light flare, but Judy is convinced that this is evidence of her great-grandparents' everlasting love, transcending even death. This clip from realghostvideos.net shows two young girls exploring a creepy old house. As they enter one of the rooms, both girls can be heard remarking how cold it feels inside. With only their flashlights to guide them, they begin to look around. As they search through the clutter, they discover what appears to be an old closet. One of the girls dares the other to open the door and take a look inside. Hesitantly, she decides to take a peek. There's a sudden flash of light and the two girls run screaming from the room. Shortly after, the video abruptly ends. If you slow the footage down just as she opens the door, you can actually see what scares them. A ghostly face with dark sunken eyes that almost looks as though it's shouting at the girls to leave. As little is known about this video, it's hard to know for sure what the girls actually saw. Could it have been the spirit of a former resident, or was it something else entirely? Whatever it was, it certainly didn't look friendly. Many think that this photo contains the spirit of a young girl who died in the Australian outback. In 1959, a priest from Adelaide, R.S. Blantz, took this photo while exploring Corroboree Rock in Australia's Northern Territory. He claims that he was enjoying the scenery, taking photos, and didn't see anything out of the ordinary. That was until he got the photos developed and couldn't quite believe what he saw. There in one of the pictures is a young girl in a pale blue and white dress. She has a translucent quality and looks out of place in the rugged landscape. Corroboree Rock holds a spiritual significance for the indigenous communities that live in the area. The Arunda tribe believe the area is dangerous for women, children, and uninitiated men. It's forbidden to climb the rock itself. Has Blance accidentally captured a spirit that is somehow attached to Corroboree Rock? Is this young girl now forced to eternally wander the vast, empty landscape of the Northern Territory? This photo was taken in the Gravillia Wing of the Beechworth Lunatic Asylum in Victoria, Australia, by ghost hunters Raylene Cable and Alan Tiller. They took the photo while investigating the grounds at Beechworth and believe that it shows the spirit of a young girl kneeling on the floor. The figure certainly does look like a child. It appears to be wearing a nightgown and looks as though it's holding something in its right hand, possibly a doll or teddy bear. Beechworth Asylum was famous for its lax rules regarding institutionalization. With only two signatures, a person could be committed. Almost 10,000 people died in the building. The patients often restrained and treated with electroshock therapy. Beechworth is reportedly haunted by the ghost of a young Jewish woman who was mysteriously thrown to her death from a window. Because of strict religious beliefs, her body lay decomposing on the ground for two days while a rabbi came from Melbourne to officially move the body. Several visitors claim they've seen a young girl under the window where the incident happened. Another traumatic tale is that of a missing patient who couldn't be found for weeks. Finally, his body was discovered by a local dog named Max near the gatehouse at the edge of the property. A search party was assembled to search the area and they eventually found the patient's body up a tree. Since then, people have reported seeing a man wandering around the gatehouse at night. Countless other paranormal sightings have taken place at Beechworth Lunatic Asylum. Visions of doctors walking down dark hallways, screams, nurses kneeling by bedsides. One ghost hunter says a demonic voice told him to get out and leave the asylum. Is it possible that this photograph has captured the ghostly vision of one of the former patients of Beechworth? Could it be that the dark history of this property is so traumatic that the souls of employees and residents are forced to wander the grounds forever? Franco TV is a YouTuber who explores old abandoned buildings and locations that are thought to be haunted. In February 2019, he released this video in which he's exploring the Evergreen Cemetery in Jacksonville, Florida. The video begins as Franco TV is filming several eerie crypts lined along one of the cemetery's pathways. 
Suddenly, he hears a faint screeching noise shortly followed by a dull moaning sound. Something big. I actually saw this on Google Maps when I was seeing this place. After he's unable to see where the sounds were coming from, Franco TV makes his way towards a large mausoleum, somewhere in the centre of the cemetery. Realising that it has no door, he decides to go inside. He notices that one of the small compartments that lines the walls appears to have been kicked in. Suddenly, he hears a knocking sound that sounds as if it's coming from inside the tomb. He calls out. Is there someone there? But no one answers. Is there someone there? As he pans around the room, the camera inadvertently captures a mysterious mist rising into the air, which is shortly followed by more knocking. Oh my god. Spooked, Franco TV decides to leave the mausoleum and continue his exploration of the cemetery. It's now dark outside and he needs to use a flashlight to see where he's going. He makes his way along another path lined with even more graves. The reflection of the flashlight against the headstones creates an eerie experience as he continues his search. Suddenly, he hears crying coming from up ahead, followed by the chilling sound of a children's music box. Oh Hesitantly, he searches for the source of the eerie sounds. Unable to locate them, Franco TV heads back towards the cemetery's entrance. On the way, he approaches the mausoleum and decides to take one final look. As he shines the flashlight towards the entrance, there appears to be a creepy face peeking out from around the corner. The face slowly retracts as he continues closer. Franco TV calls out, but there's no answer. He shines his light inside the mausoleum, however, there's nothing there. If you zoom in on the footage, you can see that the face appears to be pale and withered like the face of an old man. Suddenly, the music box begins to play once again. Franco TV runs back to his car and heads for the exit. He drives around for several minutes before realising that he's actually locked inside the cemetery. Having no other choice, he phones the caretaker who eventually sends someone down to open the gates. While Franco TV spends much of his time exploring creepy places, I'm sure that this was one haunted cemetery he couldn't wait to leave. It's like a black thing. When Guillermo Sosa took some snaps to sell his car, he wasn't expecting the terrifying image that would develop. In late 2015, Sosa took several photos of his white convertible, hoping to sell it online. When he reviewed the photos, his blood nearly ran cold when he noticed the creepy face in the left-hand side mirror. In the photo, you can see a pale, feminine face peering into the mirror. It seems to be looking straight at the camera. Sosa was adamant that no one else was with him at the time he took the photos, and he certainly would have noticed someone sitting in the front seat of his car. Some skeptics have said the image is nothing more than pareidolia a psychological phenomenon in which humans perceive familiar patterns from a stimulus, in this case a visual cue. It's possible that it's just the seat headrest reflected in the mirror. However, paranormal expert Gordon Rudder said the face is uncanny. He feels that a headrest doesn't look anything like a face even when reflected in a mirror, suggesting that this could indeed be something from the realm of the supernatural. Whatever the case may be, it certainly makes for a chilling image. One that seems to linger with you long after you've seen it. This spine-chilling photo first appeared on social media in 2014, and since then has become rather well known. There are several stories of its origin, however the most common one is that a nurse in a hospital took a screenshot of a security camera that was monitoring patients in the ward. She claims that she saw a demon-like figure walking up and down the bed of one particular patient. It had long black legs and eerie slender fingers. When she went to the ward to check on the patient, there was no sign of the figure in the room. However, the patient's vitals began declining rapidly and the person passed away shortly after. While many believe the nurse's story to be true, several skeptics claim that the demon is nothing more than a series of objects that are coincidentally lined up, 
giving the effect of a lurking creature. What do you think? Could this photo actually be evidence of a demon collecting the souls of the sick and frail, or is it nothing more than a mere coincidence? There's very little information available on this video, however it appears that it could have been taken from a warehouse security camera. The clip begins as a man is seen carrying a ladder past the camera. He returns a short time later with a trolley and opens the sliding doors to the warehouse. He enters and soon emerges with something on top of the trolley. The man then attempts to close the warehouse doors, however he's unable to shut them completely. After several more unsuccessful attempts, the man decides to leave the doors ajar and pulls his trolley away. Suddenly, a passing car's headlights shine across the warehouse doors, revealing for a split second that there is actually something stuck between them. At first it appears to be a lifeless human, stooped over and wedged in place. However, if you slow the footage down, you can see that the figure is actually transparent and is only visible in the car's headlights. What do you think the mysterious figure could be? Is it the ghost of someone who was crushed between the heavy warehouse doors, or is there another explanation for this creepy video? For decades, this photo of a ghostly monk kneeling at the altar has been the source of much speculation in the paranormal community. Gordon Carroll took this eerie photograph in 1964 when visiting the Church of St Mary's and All Saints in Northamptonshire, England. At first, Carroll didn't notice anything particularly strange in the church. That was until he had the photos developed when he noticed the eerie translucent figure kneeling at the altar. For years, people have debated whether the figure looks like a monk or possibly even a medieval knight praying at the foot of the church altar. Others have noted it might be the ghost of an old cleaning lady that once worked in the church. To the right of the figure, there looks to be a bucket. Carroll has always defended the authenticity of the photograph, claiming it's not been altered in any way. Old family photos tend to depict important moments such as family trips. While families often hate to see their vacations end, some snapshots from the trip may make them glad that they left a particular spot behind. As this photo commemorates, the Islam family decided to take a trip to Round A Park in Leeds, one year over the Easter break. As part of their tour, they visited a Victorian folly and decided to take some family photos to remember the experience. In one photo, we see daughter Marian Islam and nephew Rihan Kalik holding their arms out toward one another. Just above them, someone else appears to have entered the picture. Walking down the steps of the structure appears to be a woman clad in a long white cloak, perhaps even a veil covering her face. The family insists that there was no one else nearby when the photo was taken. They certainly would have noticed someone touring the park in such unusual clothing. Who was this mysterious figure? The park isn't known to be haunted, but spirits can be quietly lurking in places where you'd least expect. People around the internet are saying that this photo has captured the ghost of a young girl who tragically drowned in this very lake over 100 years ago. Kim Davison took this chilling image while swimming at Murphy's Hole in Lockyer River in southeast Queensland, Australia. The family were enjoying their afternoon together, swimming, taking photos, when they couldn't have known the terrifying image that would be captured. If you take a closer look at the photo, only two adults and three children were swimming in the river that day. However, a fourth child can clearly be seen behind the family. Despite several experts analysing the photo, no one has been able to explain the mysterious fourth child. Locals often report that the notorious swimming hole is dangerous. It's believed that the oldest child in the photo was struggling to stay afloat despite being a strong swimmer. When the photo was shared to a ghost investigation forum, an eerie newspaper clipping surfaced that tells of a chilling backstory. 13-year-old Doreen O'Sullivan drowned in Murphy's Hole in 1915. It took witnesses over an hour to recover the body that went missing in the 20-foot deep pool of water. Even back then, the swimming spot had a reputation for being dangerous. 
When the family were asked about their now famous photo, they all confirmed that there was definitely not a fourth child swimming with him that day. Could this photo really have captured the spirit of Doreen O'Sullivan, the girl that tragically died all those years ago? The origins of this photo are as mysterious as the photo itself. No one seems to know when or where the photo was taken and the photographer has never come forward. Yet, the unsettling image has proliferated around ghost investigation forums for decades. In the photo, we can see a small child's disembodied face hovering next to an old tombstone. It's pale and translucent. Could it be that this is the grave of a young boy? Perhaps the spirit is somehow attached to the person buried there. However, it is possible that the image is a fake and that's the reason why there's so little information available. Either way though, it still makes for a very creepy photo. This is an eerie vintage ghost photo from Brazil. It's not known when the photo was taken, but it was developed using plate glass photography. And judging by the clothing, it probably dates this photograph to the very early 1900s. The image shows two people sitting for a portrait photograph. However, there's a strange woman floating horizontally across the center of the picture. The story goes that the man sitting in this photo confessed to a murder after the image was produced. It's alleged that the mysterious floating woman fell victim to the man on the left and was killed just a few weeks earlier. The photographer, who was not a medium or a spiritualist, claimed he could see the spirit of the woman through the lens of his camera. However, when he looked at his subjects normally, there was no one else there. Some historians think that the photographer knew about the crime and deliberately superimposed an image of the woman to drive the killer to a confession. Others think that the woman's spirit really did appear in the photo, perhaps seeking justice for her untimely death. This extraordinary photo seems to show the moment a ghost child appeared in the back seat of a car. Some paranormal experts are claiming that this is the spirit of an accident victim who is trying to warn the young girl that she's not wearing a seatbelt. In November 2016, Melissa Kurtz was driving her daughter Harper to a beauty pageant. 13-year-old Harper decided to take some selfies to entertain herself and couldn't have known the chilling image that would develop. Both the mother and daughter claim there was no one else in the car, yet somehow there is clearly a pale, curly-haired boy sitting in the back seat. The boy has a really eerie quality with a sad, slightly warped expression. Kurtz was reportedly so spooked by the image, she decided to investigate the stretch of road the photo was taken on. She discovered that the boy's appearance coincided with the anniversary of a tragic road accident in which one person died. Experts have tried to debunk the photo but haven't been able to offer an explanation. One investigator suggested that perhaps the accident victim was this very boy, who is now trying to warn Harper to wear her seatbelt. Kurtz believes Harper has always attracted supernatural energy, claiming that orbs of light are often seen in photos of her. She also mentioned that when Harper was young, she was found drawing strange symbols on a window. When she researched the images, they resembled glyphs that told the story of Archangel Raphael, banishing the demon Asmodeus to hell. What's going on in this image then? Is it possible that Harper can attract supernatural energy and somehow summon the young boy's spirit? This eerie photo was taken at a road accident in July 2017 in the Antong province of Thailand. A witness, 37-year-old Chachai Suplang, took a series of photos of the pickup truck that had slammed into a trailer on Saturday evening. It wasn't until later that night when reviewing the photos that he noticed a young boy walking between the two smashed vehicles. He was certain there was no children at the scene of the accident when he took the photos. Yet, clear as day in the photo is a small boy wearing a multicolored t-shirt and flip-flops walking among the accident. Suplung became so curious about the incident, he rang local police and asked about the boy. They informed him that there were no children present at any point during the investigation. When the photo was posted to Facebook, it quickly sparked a paranormal debate. Some said the witnesses, including the police, must have been mistaken and not noticed the boy. Others think it's an omen of sorts and that it's the spirit of a boy who has appeared to warn people about the dangerous stretch of road. 
This photo first appeared online sometime around 2012. It was supposedly captured in the Clement Alvarez Emergency Hospital in Argentina by a staff member known only as Diego. Prior to the photo being taken, several staff members reported seeing the wheelchair moving down the hallway all by itself. Around the same time, this photo was taken in the Keith Haven Assisted Living Nursing Home in Flint, Michigan. It shows a very similar figure rolling down a hallway in a wheelchair. The employee who captured the picture said she saw it with her own eyes and quickly grabbed her phone to take a photo. The apparition appears to have dark, sunken eyes and a wide open mouth. It also looks rather decrepit and thin. The white shirt that the figure is wearing seems to be too large for its frail frame. If these images are indeed authentic, I certainly wouldn't want to be a member of the night staff at either of these creepy hospitals. Not all spirits who show up in old family photos have benevolent intentions. Sometimes the ghosts who pop up in photos clearly have more hateful motivations. This particular photo was snapped in Alabama in 1942. It depicts a young couple shortly after their wedding ceremony. The two are all smiles, clearly reveling in the bliss of their recent nuptials. However, if you look closely at the tree just behind the bride's left shoulder, someone appears to be objecting to the union. Flying in the air behind the bride appears a terrifying spirit. Her mouth is open wide in an expression of shock and anger. One arm reaches out towards the couple, while the other is raised as if in preparation to strike the happy newlyweds. No one has ever been able to hazard a guess as to the identity of this malevolent spirit, who seemed to wish the happy couple harm on the happiest day of their lives. Some people believe that young children have the ability to see things the rest of us can't. Some old family photos seem to confirm this supernatural belief. In this photo, a young child is resting comfortably on a worn old chair. According to the photographer, the child's grandfather had died shortly before this picture was taken. The little boy had crawled onto his grandfather's chair and she wanted to capture this special moment. However, when the film was developed, a large red blur appeared alongside the child. The blur is vaguely human shaped, leading the photographer to wonder if her relative had paid a visit to his old chair so that he could pose just once with his new grandson. This creepy ghost photo was taken in May 2015 at the Torquay Museum in Devon, England. The pic was snapped during one of the museum's famous ghost tours, in which participants hoped to encounter something from the realm of the paranormal. The photo seems to show a ghostly apparition walking through a candlelit room. It looks to be a woman casting her eyes towards the floor, wearing period attire. She has a strange blue-grey complexion and seems to be illuminated by a light source other than the candle in the corner. Staff took the photo inside the museum's old Devon Farmhouse Gallery, an exhibition filled with 300-year-old artifacts and furniture. Staff claimed the room was completely empty at the time the photo was taken. It wasn't until several days later that they noticed the eerie figure. The museum is notorious for supernatural events. There have been fingerprints discovered on the inside of a mummy sarcophagus that hadn't been opened in years. A centuries-old crib has been spotted rocking on its own, and some very creepy CCTV footage was captured in the gift shop in 2016. As the two employees are chatting in the gift shop, several leaflets inexplicably fly off the shelf to the left of screen. It's enough to catch their attention, but they think nothing of it. Then, when they go to pick up the mess, dozens more leaflets pour onto the floor. Since the photo and footage were released to the public, hundreds of tourists have flocked to take part in the museum's ghost tours. The event runs in the dead of night, walking participants through the long, dark hallways of this Victorian heritage building. Members can learn how experts investigate paranormal disturbances, study ghost hunting techniques, and perhaps even have an encounter of their own. This old photo isn't much to look at on the surface. It shows a window in a dark room, but the bright light coming from outside causes a glare that makes it difficult to see what's happening outside the window. The only clear part of the photo is the man's face in the upper left corner. However, the woman who snapped the photo insists she was alone in the house when she took it. 
To make matters even eerier, she asserts that the face in the corner strongly resembles that of her stepfather, who had died by suicide years before. She adds that the dresser where the face appears to hover used to belong to her stepfather. It was the very place where he stored the gun that ended his life. This mysterious photo was taken in the hospital room of a dying grandfather, right as a priest prayed by the bedside. In 2014, Bob Large, who was 76 at the time, was in the Countess of Chester Hospital suffering from bladder cancer. Doctors had given him just days to live. Grandson Chris Ledbetter took the photo and couldn't quite believe what had been captured. In the photo, a saintly figure can be seen standing at the end of the bed. It's a grey apparition that looks to have a hood draped over their head. Ledbetter was so shocked by the image, he immediately went to the ward manager. But before the manager even saw the image, they described the figure perfectly, saying that lots of patients see her at the end of their beds. When patient Bob Large saw the photo, he said, The picture is of my guardian angel. I've been in that hospital on the same ward so many times. The vicar always comes in and says prayers and then goes, and I always feel much better. Every time I feel like there's a presence in the room. According to staff, it's not the first time the figure has been reported in the hospital. One incident saw a patient screaming out in the middle of the night. When nurses rushed to their aid, they said a ghost was standing by their bedside. On the whole, however, patients say the figure comes in peace. Many have been bedridden, unable to move, then they say a presence can be felt nearby and often make a miraculous recovery. In October 2013, this video was uploaded to Jimmy's World Grill and Bar's YouTube channel. When a customer of their Luton restaurant told management that they saw another patron's plate fly off the table, they decided to check their CCTV footage to see what had happened. Surely enough, the footage does indeed appear to show paranormal activity. Soon after the customer sitting in the centre bottom of the screen leaves her table, several strange events begin to occur. Firstly, the chair and menu on the table start to move. Then suddenly a napkin flies off the table, shortly followed by a plate. Many believe this footage is authentic, noting that there doesn't seem to be any visible wires or strings attached to the items that moved. That, coupled with the fact that a customer is seen leaving the table just prior to the events, tends to indicate that it could indeed be the actions of a real poltergeist. However, some viewers have suggested that the whole event could have been staged as part of a publicity stunt, designed to lure more customers into the supposedly haunted bar. Sadly, without further evidence, we'll just have to leave this one up to you to decide. This creepy video was first uploaded to Paranormal Seekers TK's YouTube channel in 2010. Reportedly filmed in a hospital somewhere in Mexico, the footage shows an orderly laughing and joking around in front of the camera, when suddenly a mysterious dark figure walks by the window. The two decide to investigate, they open the door and head into what appears to be an empty operating theatre. Suddenly a table begins to move on its own. The startled pair rush for the door. As they do, the camera holder does a full 360 degree sweep of the room. There's clearly no one else in there and there's no other door that the figure could have entered or exited from. So who exactly was the shadowy figure? Some think it may have been the ghost of a former patient that passed away in this very operating room. This photo has captured a ghostly shadow that has defied explanation for generations. A Reddit user posted this photo with a chilling story attached. The user said that when his grandpa was young, he would often see the swing in his backyard swaying back and forth even when there was no wind. It started happening so often that he pleaded with his mum to buy him a camera so he could photograph the swing. Finally, she bought him an old camera from a thrift store and he immediately started taking photos of the swing any time it moved. Several days later, when the film was developed, nothing particularly interesting showed up in the photos. It was just a swing and nothing else. That was until he got to the sixth photo in the set that an eerie shadow showed up in plain sight. 
he couldn't believe what he had captured and was certain that it was a ghost. Apparently, the grandpa kept the photo hidden for years, only showing a select few people. The Reddit user claims that when he finally saw his grandpa's photo, he hired some experts to analyze it. They deemed it authentic and were certain it hadn't been tampered with in any way. This eerie photo was taken at a Californian spiritualist convention in 1968. Author Robert A. Ferguson was giving a talk on his latest book, Psychic Telemetry, New Key to Health, Wealth and Perfect Living, when someone in the crowd snapped this picture. In the photo, just left of Ferguson, there's a translucent image of a man in a suit. When Ferguson first saw the image, he immediately identified the mysterious figure as his late brother Walter, who died in World War II. Many skeptics have tried debunking this now notorious photo. However, the most alarming detail about this image is that it was taken on Polaroid, ruling out the possibility of double exposure or extra elements added in the darkroom. In May 2015, Google Street View captured a chilling image that many are calling a demon ghost. Twitter user Keswick Bro was looking for a local fish and chip shop on Google when he noticed something very eerie in the top window of the Stewart Hotel in Liverpool, England. In the photo, you can see a ghoulish face peering out of the top floor window of the centuries old pub. It has demonic looking eyes, a bald head and sharp features. Whatever it is, it seems to be snarling at the passing cars. The user tweeted, was looking for Burns Chip Shop Walton on Google Maps came across Stewart Hotel Pub opposite. Something in top window caught my eye. I zoomed in on Google Street View and what can only be described as a weird face or a possible ghost is staring out of the window. When the image went live, it got shared hundreds of times, scaring the heck out of the majority of viewers. No one can quite explain what the picture shows. Tom Slemon, a local expert on all things supernatural, commented on the photo saying that it's not the first time the pub has been noted for paranormal activity. In 1897, the owner of the establishment, Robertson Pemberton, reported that the pub was haunted. He claimed that he could hear strange noises almost every night coming from the cellar. Initially, he thought it was just rats scratching around, but eventually the mysterious noises got so loud that neighbors began complaining. After a thorough investigation, there was no known source of the noise. Today, many locals claim that the pub is haunted. They say they've heard inexplicable noises, felt cold spots, and even had their clothes pulled from behind without anyone else being around. Could this photo be proof that the Stewart Hotel is haunted? Is this definitive evidence that spirits have lingered on in this old building? If you want to see some more scary footage, then check out that link on the top there. Otherwise, there's a paranormal playlist right there you can binge on for hours and hours. Now in the comments section below, let us know if you enjoyed this compilation or not. We'd love to get some feedback. And that's it for me. I'll see you all next time. 